is really important. And you see here, here, you need to prove that you're a copyright holder and you need to say, hey, they don't have permission to use it. And the other person needs to show that they have permission or not. So I have a dream, that's all I need. I'll make it happen with some work and belief. So how does copyright work? It's simple. What you need to remember is the following. When you create something, you have copyright on it. So when you create a picture, when you create music, you have copyright on it. When other people want to use your creativity, use your creation, they need to have your permission. So if you look at here, this is you. So, so if you look at here, this is you. You create this and this is your copyright. So imagine me wants to use your music or your picture. I need to have your permission. So I need to ask your permission in order to use it. And if I don't do that, you can sue me. It's that simple. So this is your creation. And if I want to use it, I need to get your permission. So I need to talk to you and sign an agreement or ask permission to use your music or whatever. If I don't do that, you can sue me. It's that simple. What's the ABC formula and how can you use it? If you look at this situation, this is one situation you always have in an intellectual case, especially copyright. So what you need to remember is the person that create, uh, let's say the work is always A, the work is B, and the person wants to use it or use it without permission is C. When you have a case, you need to know for sure, is there a work? Is the person that is claiming that he is copyright, he or she is copyright holder, is she that or he is he that? Is that simple? And what you also need to determine is, does he has permission? Is there a copyright infringement? And that's really important. And if you look at this whole situation, so if you look at this whole situation, what does it have to do with DMCA? A lot. DMCA is a law in America. It's about copyright. And I'm going to talk to you what it is and show you how it works on Twitch. So let's go. This is a blog post from Twitch. And uh, it's really good to read it. But sometimes it's difficult to understand. So we will walk through this and I'll show you what you can do or what you cannot do. So, so this is the blog post. You see here, here they explain what DMCA is. You see here DMCA and Twitch. Here they explain what DMCA is. A is so let's look at here first off a quick review of what DMCA actually is the digital millennium copyright act so it's the law in the US it's a set of law allows you to create and share content on digital service provider like twitch we comply with the DMCA and similar laws worldwide part of complying means that when we as a copyright holder so really important so let's do this copyright holder thinks a streamer has used their content without permission. You see it here. Without permission, we have a process in place for them to be able to request the content being taken down. So if someone uses your content without permission, you can file a request and they can take it down if it meets the requirements. So here you see the whole process, how it works. When we receive DMCA notification, we process the notification according with our DMCA guidelines. This includes removing the content, sharing the details with the channel owner and taking the allegation. So this part is really important. And you see here, here you need to prove that you're a copyright holder and you need to say, hey, they don't have permission to use it. And the other person needs to show that they have permission or not. So this is the situation. Let's go down. This is recent, not important. What you need to know is this is the date and when they wrote that article. But for me, it's important that you see, okay, this is how it works. Here is Twitch explaining how you can afford DMCA notification. My tip to you is just get permission or use music where you do not need permission. There are a lot of music out there that you can use and those can help you boost your channel. I know you want to be unique. I know you want to be different. You want to show people what kind of taste you have. If you really are into that and you really have deep pockets, just ask permission. Go to the agency, 
buy a license and you have it it's that simple but there are also other websites out there that are offer you license for certain kind of music but you have to pay for it for commercial use okay thing is now i'm going to discuss two examples thing is i'm going to discuss two examples that you need to make sure that you're not going to do it wrong so first thing first you are on twitch let's say this is twitch and you use some music so this is you and this is uh, someone else so let's say e for else you use someone else music on twitch but someone else can go to twitch get the note uh, send the notification take down dmca take down whatever you call it doesn't matter and they can take down your content that's simple when you use music that are provided by twitch like uh, music that you can only use on twitch because you already have the license you don't have any problem with that there are some companies out there that can help you with this because you have to see it like this uh, there are some companies that provide free music that you can use they call it copyright music in another video i'll explain to you what it means and how you should look at it but they give you license to use those music on twitch you don't have to pay anything for it it's for free just look at the license so what i'm trying to say is when you create content, make sure that the music is okay. Otherwise, you have a takedown and you don't want that. Twitch also has a library where you can get those music. Go in the library and check those things because when you use them, you don't have to worry about these kind of things. And I have to tell you one thing. It's better not to worry about this thing because it can bring a lot of headache and you don't want that. For this situation, Twitch has a library. and that library, you can use it. So Twitch has a library of music. And the thing is, there's a library that you can use and i don't see why you are not using the library so why not using it to get your music you don't have to worry about the copyright or whatever but just remember look at the license and most of the time the license is saying you're allowed to use it on the platform if you're using someone else you have a problem so if you get the music from the library and you use it on youtube and you don't have permission you have a problem but sometimes you have some artists saying hey you're allowed to use it for youtube and on twitch doesn't matter but if you use it on other platform you can get trouble for that so look at the license in my other video i'll explain to you how it works but please look at the license so this is the situation and i show you the blog that you can read about how um, dmca work on twitch just remember if you get a dmc notification it's not the end of the world this means your video will be taken down or it will be muted sometimes twitch make mistakes they think when you create a, um, a stream that there are copyright music in it it will be muted what you need to do is just appeal to that takedown and you're safe to go if it's successful appeal if not then you may have a problem what you need to do is just make sure you have permission if you have permission you are good to go so what i'm trying to say is try to get permission to use those music and when you have permission you're safe to go you don't have to worry about it you can focus on the main important things if you want to take down something and you don't know where to start i will make another video how you can do that how you can make a takedown notice dmca takedown notice and how you can send it to certain companies most of the time companies have their own process in twitch i show you through these links how you can get this process the links i will put it in the description below you can follow them if you have question about it you can ask me on discord if you're new to this channel subscribe and i'll see you in the next video i have a dream that's all i need I'll make it happen with some work and belief